Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a week or so of recipes that I have been really loving and cooking lately and I hope it gives you guys some inspiration. I've just been in such a rut. I am very much a soup girl and I love hot food and so during the summer months I just get so bored of eating the same things. So I'm really looking forward to making some amazing soups and sharing more food as we go into the fall and winter season. Let me know if you prefer this format to the classic what I eat in a week style. I am still kind of figuring that out just because I do tend to eat the same breakfast every day. So I wanted to switch things up and also just be sensitive. I just want to do what you guys enjoy the most. So definitely let me know. And without further ado, let's just get right on into these. Um, we're going to go in order from like breakfast lunches, dinners, and then my favorite cookie recipe of all time. So stay tuned. I have recently made the switch to vanilla lattes instead of chai lattes. And before I got my Nespresso, I was making these instant coffee lattes with the Alfred instant coffee and the vanilla syrup. It's very good, but now that I have my Nespresso, I kind of prefer that. I can put the info below for what Nespresso machine I love, but that Alfred vanilla syrup, is the real deal. Breakfast wise, I have been loving sesame bagels with the Kite Hill cashew cream cheese. The chai flavor is absolutely amazing and I could eat it every day, especially with an heirloom tomato, some capers, add some sprouts, make it into a bagel sandwich, delicious. I've also really been loving date shakes with almond butter, vanilla protein powder, almond milk, and some dates. So good, you have to try it. I wish I recorded me blending it, but I'll put the details in the description box. Here's a clip of me making a jackfruit quesadilla with some leftovers. I love making a large batch of jackfruit and then just putting it in burrito bowls, tacos, quesadillas. It's such a great protein. This is a recreation of Erwan's Caesar salad, which has crunchy chickpeas that you bake on a tray. It is so easy, so filling, and I got the recipe from my friend Madison on Instagram. It has garlic powder, paprika, then I just used the Trader Joe's vegan Caesar salad dressing and some romaine. The texture of this is just amazing, and if you like the Erwan one, you will save so much money by making this recipe instead. I also made this really tasty vegan beef and broccoli recipe with mushrooms and broccoli, and what I really liked about this is that you cook it all on one sheet pan, so it is really easy, very hands-off. The only time intensive part is marinating the mushrooms ahead of time, but after making this, I don't really think it was necessary. The marinade for all the vegetables is veggie broth, sesame oil, coconut aminos, and this oyster flavored sauce that I got at Whole Foods. And honestly, it tasted really, really close to the beef and broccoli I remember. pour it all over and bake it, and I served it with some jasmine rice. This was a really fun recipe to make. It was out of my typical repertoire of recipes, but really tasty. I will definitely make it again. I also was on a huge sun gold tomato kick towards the end of summer. They are these gorgeous orange yellow tomatoes and they're much sweeter than normal cherry tomatoes. I just sauteed them with some garlic and olive oil, steamed some spinach, and then added in gluten-free penne and some olive oil for a really easy weeknight dinner. This is like one of my go-tos, but the sun gold tomatoes are really something special. And this was actually my first summer trying them, but next summer I am definitely gonna try and eat a lot more. Maybe even like roast them and freeze them. That's like how good we're talking. And then the last savory recipe I've been into is this 15 minute creamy noodle curry soup that I found on TikTok. And I like to bake tofu instead of just throwing it in. So that definitely makes it not take 15 minutes. You can really do whatever you want, um, but I like to bake my tofu at 400 for about 20 minutes. But the rest of this recipe is very simple and does take around 15 minutes. 
chop and saute whatever vegetables you have on hand. I used red bell pepper, mushrooms, and carrot, and then just sauteed these with some garlic and sesame oil until they had a little bit of color on them. Then add in veggie broth until you have enough space in your pan to boil some rice noodles. I used these soba noodles from Lotus Foods, which is my favorite brand to get soba noodles, rice noodles, pad thai noodles, everything noodles. Then add coconut milk, red curry paste, salt and pepper, and bring to a boil until your noodles are done. And then you can serve it with your tofu, some lime juice, cilantro. I've been making different variations of it with different veggies, super tasty. And now to share my new favorite cookie recipe. It has chocolate chips, oatmeal, and shredded coconut. And just the texture combination in this is ridiculous. I made a double batch and brought these to a friend's birthday party and they were a massive hit. They are fluffy and cakey and chocolatey. They really are my perfect cookie and so I will be making this recipe for years to come, I already know. It's really hard to do vegan and gluten-free baking, so when I find a good recipe, I will shout it from the rooftops, and I wanna try making a variation of this with raisins, so I'll let you guys know how that goes, maybe in a future video, but these cookies are incredible. Please make them. And now for a little bit about the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can create a beautiful online presence and run your business. I've been using Squarespace for years to host my website, which is lindsayrum.com, and I use mine as a portfolio site to showcase my work and a little bit about me, but they have thousands of templates to choose from, so no matter what it is you're looking to create a website for, they have a template for it, and all of their templates are completely customizable so you can really make them your own. Whether you're creating an online shop, a portfolio website, or even a blog, because Squarespace has amazing built-in blogging and commenting features, like a fully integrated commenting system. So when you make blog posts, your viewers can comment, like, reply to other people, and just really garner community in your website, which is super important. I love going on food blogs, and the comment section is so important when it comes to seeing how a recipe performs and if I wanna make it. So I love that Squarespace has that integrated. And as a creator on the back end, you can draft, categorize, and schedule your blog posts to go live, which is super helpful if you are creating a blog on Squarespace. Squarespace also gives you access to powerful analytics tools, so you can learn more about your audience geography, traffic sources, and more, which is super important when it comes to running a business or just having a website in general. If you're interested in Squarespace, you can always use my code LindsayRem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain, or go to squarespace.com slash LindsayRem. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, let me know what you think about the new format, as well as what fall and winter recipes that you guys love or that you want me to try. And I will see you guys with some new content very soon. Bye guys.